Oh, Squire, you really just had to go and nail it this time. What's up guys, Jake here, and today we are talking about the new 2021 Squire Contemporary Floyd Rose Baked Maple Stratocaster. This guitar is the ultimate shred machine that every shred guy is talking about this year. So I received mine a couple weeks ago, and the specs on this guitar are just absolutely insane for $450. So today, we're gonna talk about the good, we're gonna talk about the bad, we're gonna talk about the ugly, but let me tell you, it is mostly good. So to start off, no, I am not sponsored by Squire. Unless they want to sponsor me, but this video, as of today, is not sponsored. I just had to buy this guitar, because when they were released at Virtual NAMM, I had about 10 people send me a photo and say, you're buying one of these, right? So damn right I had to pre-order one. This is the first guitar I've ever pre-ordered, and the first guitar uh, that was brand new in a box that I have bought in years, maybe, yeah, probably like six or seven years. So let's talk about the specs real quick. You have your standard strap body with two Squire Atomic humbucking pickups. You have a Floyd Rose tremolo. They don't call this the Floyd Rose Special. It just says Floyd Rose. However, it's not engraved. It's just a, uh, it's like painted on Floyd Rose. So it's not a 1000. They also don't call it a Special but it is a fairly cheap trim, it's, it's a Floyd Rose special. You have one volume, one tone, and a five-way selector so you can get all five different pickup sounds out of this guitar. You have a blacked out headstock and a small comfort cut on the back to get access to the upper frets. Now something a lot of people were confused on the photos of these is the little back plate right here. Everybody kept saying, oh, it's active. No, these are passive pickups. That's for the output jack because it's on the side. It is a shredder after all. Now let's talk about the spec that everybody is just crazy about. Baked maple neck. Isn't that gorgeous? Baked maple is starting to come around on affordable guitars, but you know, two, three years ago, you had to spend almost a thousand bucks to get a baked maple guitar. Now, baked maple, some of it's really ugly, and some of it looks really nice. This one looks beautiful. I said when I pre-ordered this, if the baked maple looks like garbage, I'm probably not gonna keep it, but it looks phenomenal. This guitar, I cannot believe they packed this amount of specs into it. And also this color, shell pink. I wanted a pink guitar for so long, and I think this is the perfect pink guitar. It's actually metallic, which I didn't notice until I got the guitar. But yeah, it's a metallic shell pink. It's a lot lighter pink than the photos, which at first I was like, eh. But now I have grown to really like this color. It's really light, about six and a half pounds, but not in a bad way, not like a cheap light, like a comfortable light. So that are all the specs that they have packed into this beautiful beast. Now let's go ahead and check out how it sounds real quick. I am actually using bias effects for this demo. This is the first time for a guitar demo I've used VSTs, so definitely let me know down in the comments how you feel about that.
that is it. The Squire Contemporary Floyd Rose with a baked maple neck, new for 2021. Now, my final thoughts on this guitar are, it's a fantastic value for the money, but there is a few bad things that I will talk about, but again, this is not a negative review, so I'm not trying to take away from what this guitar is. First bad thing is the trim. It's very cheap. A lot of people were saying, oh, it's like a Floyd 1000. It's not. The fine tuners are, are pretty clunky. It doesn't keep tuned the best. It's a pretty standard Floyd Rose special style trim. Number two, it did have the hairline cracks, which is totally normal for a trim guitar, but out of the box. So that was a little, a little eh, but they're not through the body, so I'm not worried about it. The paint's a little sloppy around the Floyd Rose route, but again, for the amount of specs they're packing into this guitar, how can you judge it for that? So the paint's a little sloppy, but it's not unacceptable by any means. The thing I was most pissed off about, but isn't even a big deal, is this uh, locking nut was stripped out of the box. I thought that the actual nut itself was stripped, but it was just the screw. So I put a new screw on there and called it a day. So those are a few negatives, if you will, but you're gonna find that on most guitars under 500 bucks. But most guitars under $500 do have this amount of specs. Now, my biggest beef with the guitar is the pickups. I do not like them. They're very dark, they're very muddy. But when I bought this guitar, I planned on ripping the pickups out anyway. They sound like a fairly standard, cheap, dark sounding pickup, but I am going to swap that out in the near future, and I can't wait to see what this guitar sounds like after that. All right guys, so that is the new Squire Contemporary for 2021. What do you think of these guitars? You plan on grabbing one? Do you already have one on pre-order? Or if you're lucky like me, you might already have one in your hands. Let me know what you think of these guitars down below in the comments. All right guys, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on this video, and any comments, drop them down below. Once again, bravo Squire and Fender, you nailed it.